Why isn't astrology consistent? Why did astrologers not predict the existence of Neptune and Pluto centuries before the astronomers discovered them? Surely the positions of these bodies would have affected the readings, and indeed they are included in modern astrological readings. So why didn't astrologers notice anything was wrong before? And why include Pluto and not Eris, which is larger and more massive than Pluto? And that's not to mention all of the asteroids, comets, Kuiper Belt objects, all sorts of things somersaulting all around our solar system. What does James Young have to say about all that? Every profession has its own terminology and jargon terms, and everyone within this profession, and most people outside of it, understand that this is jargon and that it is not to be taken literally. Let's just imagine I am your astrologer, you're my client, and I'm reading your chart. Now I could say, Pluto, which according to the doctrine of correspondences, draws parallels with the idea of transformation, and it's now forming a sesquiquadrate aspect to your natal Jupiter, which in turn will reflect into your seventh house. Or I could say, the influence of Pluto in your chart would suggest a major shake-up in your relationships. Now, which would you rather hear? Jargon is there to simplify, make things easier, but it is not there to be taken literally. Oh, I get it. When you say Pluto is influencing your life, you're really saying... Um, what was that again? Pluto, uh -huh. which according to the doctrine of correspondences, yeah. draws parallels with the idea of transformation. Yeah. And it's now forming a sesquiquadrate uh -huh. aspect to your natal Jupiter, uh -huh. which in turn will reflect into your seventh house. Uh -huh. Okay, I've got it now. Of course, he used a lot of confusing words, and he didn't phrase it the best way that he could, so please allow me to translate it, so you can understand what he's really saying. Pluto, blah, 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. He's not really saying anything. He's just trying to confuse people and make them think that he knows what he's talking about. And he's trying to distract from the main point. Pluto is doing something. It is having an effect, and we're still left with the problem of how Pluto can do any of that. There's a reason for all of these problems. Astrology doesn't work. It's complete bogosity. One of the many studies debunking this nonsense is this one from Jeffrey Dean and Ivan Kelly, where they found... A large-scale test of persons born less than five minutes apart found no hint of the similarities predicted by astrology. Meta-analysis of more than 40 controlled studies suggests that astrologers are unable to perform significantly better than chance even on the more basic tasks such as predicting extraversion. They also concluded, A large-scale test of time twins involving more than 100 cognitive, behavioral, physical, and other variables found no hint of support for the claims of astrology. These are with time twins, which are people who are otherwise unrelated and happen to be born at the same place and time. They tracked thousands of these, many of them born within one minute of each other, far greater resolution than the astrologers request from their clients. These time twins had the same planets and moon and sun and everything in the same place in the sky relative to the constellations or the zodiac or whatever you want to go with, all of the arguments, all of the apologetics, all of the excuses made by astrologers are completely destroyed by this. No astrologer is ever going to tell you anything useful about your life or what you should do. If you need that, go to a professional therapist. That's what they're for. And they have the education and credentials to do it properly. And if you want to be wowed by the stars and the planets, it's a lot cheaper to take a trip down to your local planetarium where you can use real science to learn about the stars and how wonderful they really are. And then maybe you'll see that the stars and the planets do have an effect on us after all. They make us look at the universe and wonder. The universe is a truly amazing place. 
And the best way to see that is with your eyes open, seeing all of the beauty and mystery and wonder that science has opened up to us that the ancient astrologers never could have even dreamed of. We have found other planets. We have seen stars born and stars die. We have seen back to when the universe was young. And we have seen our solar system with our true place in it, the tiniest, almost invisible blue speck, the place where every single human contribution in history has taken place. We know all of this because of science. We owe not the tiniest bit to the bogosity of astrology.